Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. Thank you for, uh, first of all, come on, Kerala, inviting me for this event. And also, thank you for using a very old photo, which makes me still young. <laughs> I really look young in this photo. Okay. Uh, it's really great to be here. Uh, I don't feel like I'm really uh, coming from maybe a different country or coming from different, maybe. I feel always home when I talk to our friends, uh, our nation in India, or any nation uh, coming here. As you know, that we always be in the, uh, the place where uh, all the uh, nationalities come from around the world. So we are very welcoming, everyone. And uh, uh, once again, I'd like to thank the organizers for inviting me, for giving me this honor and pleasure to be here. It's really an honor. Uh, I've just taken a quick tour back there on things. And trust me, whenever I do an event, I struggle to get 100 people in. And I don't know how you do it. You get more than 1,000 in this event. So uh, good, uh, good work. Good job. <laughs> uh, I was told to talk about the topic, actually, about this. So I think the best thing I can talk about is about whatever we see here as an organization. Am I sounding OK? OK. And uh, what brings all this kind of events and all this? I think there's one thing. Uh, that is the leadership. Uh, I'm sure I'll share a secret if I tell you that we, as people of the UAE, and all those who are living in UAE can know one thing very important, that we are lucky people. Lucky for of our leaders who always, <laughs> who always stays with us, among us. They lead by doing. They lead us through their really close to us. So uh, uh, this coherent, this kind of uh, uh, working together always inspired us actually as, as youth, as children, as leaders to continue always keep things happening and happening. So all, I mean, all my career actually I learned one thing from them is that great leaders create leaders, not followers. <laughs> I'm sure you heard this statement many times, for me, it becomes a motto. Something I do it on a daily basis, uh, just regularly. I do it without I feel, because this is something I always believe that our role here is to transfer the knowledge which we have, the experience we have, to the next generation. That's why I have joined, uh, I have actually been honored and pleasured to, uh, to chair uh, an, event, uh, an organization called Sharjah Tatweer Forum. It's an, it's an organization which is uh, actually uh, chaired uh, honorably by uh, His Highness Dr. Sheikh Sultan bin Mohammed Al Qasimi, the ruler of Sharjah. And he gave us the honor that we really work in developing leaders for the future. So uh, I was the one who handling that with my team of, of the board uh, for the last eight years. And I, I try every year, really, and we just announced it, by the way, we just launched it uh, two days ago, the, uh, the, the, virgin, uh, the uh, uh, number 10 uh, version of that uh, program. And I, every year I try to work on developing new ideas, new things for this program, because as you know, things are changing dynamically here. Things are always new. And I was looking into the presentation uh, from Abu Nawaz. Thank you very much for this presentation. And he talks about <laughs> uh, the cultural differences. And actually, that's the essence of many uh, things around us that leadership need to know, need to understand the different cultures around the world. And that's what makes a good leader. So what I'm trying to do here with this program that we keep on adding new changes on this uh, program. Uh, having said that, and, and, uh, and uh, I'm addressing maybe uh, some entrepreneurs here, some leaders here. I thought I'd just uh, have five minutes uh, to talk to you about what could be, uh, how or how we can create a 21st century leader. This is a question we always ask, that 21st century, you know, it has different kind of uh, speciality in terms of comes to the uh, skill needed, maybe a different kind of uh, 
uh, tools, uh, technologies evolving, uh, uh, a lot of challenges in terms of the economy, customers behavior is changing, customers define, dem demand is changing. So all these changes has to be really addressed in a better way so that leaders can continue in the 21st century uh, add value to the, uh, to the uh, peoples they, 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 they lead. So I, I, I just heard about, or read about uh, 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 research done by PSG actually. Uh, it's uh, on 4,000 companies. They were like, want to know is what, what is, how we can develop the leaders and how can we develop them. What they found out? They found out that 85% of these companies actually still they have the gap. That leadership is not really making that change. That still they have a problems in this. So they made a research <coughs> and they came back and they asked, and they, or they, they concluded uh, three things. I like to uh, share these three things with you because this is things I always add to my personal life. And I'm sure that you also will be adding it to your personal life, not only personal life, even professional life. And I am trying to add it every time to my program. The program which have, we have so far 400 leaders graduated from for the last uh, eight years. And we are very proud that uh, these leaders are today uh, having uh, good positions in, in Sharjah and even in UAE. Uh, one of the things is that always we ask, uh, one of the questions we always ask is that question is that how much change we are ready to anticipate in our business model. When I say business model, I mean about professional life or in our personal life. How much we can anticipate that, that, that we shake the boat in our life. So the answer always for this is that actually in our calendars. You check your calendar, ask yourself who you are meeting with. That tells you what are you doing, who you are, or what are you reading, or what are you, where are you traveling, or what you are really talking about every day. That defines who you are. So having that change in your personal life or, or the change will all be always create a leadership aspect in your life. The second question, I'll make it quick for you. I don't want you to get bored in this. The second one is that is about your network. We need to ask about self today. If there is a uh, teachers community, they always talk together. Teachers go to teachers. The, the doctors, they talk only to doctors. So I think we need to think about it that why not teachers talk to doctors, doctors talk to engineers, and change that network. That is another aspect that makes the leaders better off to understand the other, that diversity. So uh, I think one, that's one other thing that makes the uh, 21st century leaders is that they mingle with other profession, not only with this profession, because this is how you really learn from that. And uh, one, of the, uh, uh, one of the maybe uh, new things, of the leader, new uh, uh, habits of leaders is that they continue going to other entities. The third one could be is how much we challenge ourselves. Today we all like to go wake up in the middle of the morning, go to work, come back from work, done, have food, have rest. This is the comfort zone. How much we are able to really disturb that comfort zone? Actually, it's very difficult. But for leaders, that's important. That's something very critical. They have to do it. If there's something going very nice, successfully, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, I'm getting my salary, all is nice, I'm having fun, all good, my kids at the school. This is a, a comfort zone. Remember, if you are living that kind of living, please think, and think about it again. Because that comfort zone will not create leaders. They will create only those happy people who like to live nicely. But leaders will come there and challenge that. <laughs> and when women challenge that pattern, trying to add new things, at many times I'm sure that you had a great idea. And you know it's a good idea. But People are talking about it in all in the same style. You don't, you don't think like, okay, no, my idea will be stupid. Help each. It's not stupid. It's really that idea that will shake the boat, that will bring disturbance, that will make people kind of think in a different angle. So that's the third thing I think the 21st leaders uh, of the uh, 21st century will require, is to, like, to change the norm, change the pattern, try to bring new things. All these aspects I'm trying to bring to our uh, leaders in Sharjah, and I'm very uh, proud, actually, I'm very happy that 
things are happening uh, very nicely with them. Uh, I'm a being a banker as a profession. Uh, I'm a volunteer uh, in this field. I'm uh, also representing uh, the Parliament of Shafi to the Consultative Council. It's a, a great initiative by Dr. Shafi who, who believes that democracy is something very important, who believes that people's opinion has to be there when it comes to the government decisions. So this is uh, a Parliament where you listen to the public and you also interact with the government and to try to bring the, the best model when it comes to the uh, governance or comes to the leadership. So having all these roles in my life, I think, uh, puts me in a lot of challenge, put me in a lot of uh, insights that uh, learning is a journey which never ends. So I always make sure that this the journey of learning continues and this journey of learning always transferred to the new generations. And I hope that I continue to learn from you all today and uh, also we get to to him from each other. Thank you again for inviting me. I'm really pleasure to be here. Thank you very much.